On a very cold winter day, I went out to Sunset Park, Brooklyn, and visited the terminal of the New York, New Jersey Rail Company. It's a switching and terminal railroad that is based in Greenville, New Jersey, and operates between Jersey City, New Jersey, and Sunset Park, Brooklyn. The yard that we're looking at now is the 65th Street Yard. It was originally built as a rail marine facility for the New York and New Haven and Hartford Railroad, uh, the New Haven. Um, here's the tug pulling a f loaded ferry barge across New York Harbor. In Brooklyn, the railroad interchanges with a few other railroads in South Brooklyn, including the Long Island Railroad and the uh, MTA subway system. The railroad occupies several um, tracks from other railroads. Um, it's replacing the uh, New York Cross Harbor Railroad, um, which went away in 2006. This ferry is the only crossing of the Hudson River south of the Alfred H. Smith Memorial Bridge, which is 140 miles north of the city at least since the Poughkeepsie Bridge closed in 1974 after the big fire. In 1999, New York City rehabilitated the yard for car float operations and added two transfer bridges. At the time, though, the New York Cross Harbor uh, kept using two former Bush Terminal float bridges, and they did so until until they ended in 2006. Unfortunately, the day I visited, there was not a lot of action happening. Uh, two of the Knoxville um, engines were just tied up, fenced in, in a little area, and they were loading um, and unloading some uh, lumber cars with a forklift. There you can see the Brooklyn Army Terminal in the background. The trackage to connect with the Sims Metal Recycling and the MTA tracks, the, the um, trackage goes through between the buildings of, of the Brooklyn Army Terminal, as well as down First Street in Sunset Park. Blue and white locomotive in the foreground is a Tier 4i SE10B locomotive. It was built by Knoxville Locomotive Works and it is the primary road power in this yard. Uh, that other engine is just used uh, for extenuating circumstances and as a backup. The car ferry can load 18 rail cars onto the car float and it takes about 45 minutes to cross the four miles across the harbor to Greenville. Here I re I'm repositioned to get a little closer to the car float bridges. It's still very hard to see in this area. It's really all fenced off. It's an industrial site, really. But you can see some of the freight cars coming out of off of Long Island and this is kind of a transload facility by the float bridge. I apologize for some of my camera work here. It was very cold the day I was out. We're going to end with some uh, footage from the old uh, New York Cross Harbor yard along First Avenue in, in Brooklyn. Um, there, this is an idler car marked New York, New Jersey. In the background, you can really see the the old um, New York Cross Harbor engine house, as well as the caboose. Um, it's an N5 class caboose, which functioned as the yard office at Bush Terminal. Originally, it was uh, Pennsylvania Railroad. It was purchased by New York Dock in 1968, and it went to Brooklyn Eastern District Terminal or had a fire, but then it was restored and used as the yard office um, here at Bush Terminal. 
Thanks for watching. Be sure to comment or leave a like and subscribe. Again, thanks.